What's going on guys? So today we're going to do a review of our 7x20 shop. Um, we got the front garage sliding door here. And then usually everything comes in and out of the back or the side here. Uh, we wanted to do a quick review because everyone was seeing the seeing the shop in the video and um, you know wanted to ask how we have everything set up and pretty much what we do. Um, to begin with, you know, this is obviously our home gym slash shop, but this is a 7x20 garage. We did the non-slip floors here. Um, everything's a little, you know, clustered right now because of our snow equipment. Um, I have our three snow blowers in here because this is heated. So during a storm, if anything goes down or anything needs to be looked at before we start up, you know, there's heat in here. So we go through everything. We're not out in the cold and the trucks, you know what I mean? Doing things like that. Um, so yeah, this, that's pretty much why all the snow stuff's in here. So as you can see, it's a little, little tight, but you know, you don't want to be working out, you know, if something breaks, you come back here and fix it with the heat's on. We're not sitting on someone's property or sitting out and, you know, five degree weather playing with tools and stuff that's it's no fun but again we have our gym up here so we'll go through everything um it's nice it's not insulated but um with the vinyl siding on the outside and the thick plywood walls the heat does stay in and um we usually put one air conditioner in one of the windows here just so you know so during the summer we have air conditioning things of that sort Again, you know, when a mower breaks down, we're, we're in here fixing it if we have time instead of fixing it out in the field. Um, but we have our 48 Toro walk behind. Um, this one's actually for sale. We only use her about once a week on a commercial property, so um, we're kind of getting rid of her. Uh, see here so there for overseeding. We have a backpack sprayer there. And I keep some um, hoodies up here for when guys forget their things or... You know, they need to borrow one, they can just bring in and throw one up there. Um, and then up here, we have two string trimmers, a backup, one for parts. And then I think there's one more up there we use. But And then up here is the tire aid, which is great. That's just in here right now because, you know, we're cleaning up the trailers, getting ready for spring. But definitely look up, look into the tire aid. I mean, if you don't use this, look up, look it up on YouTube. Uh, if you get a flat, it's, it's, a, it's great. It's a good tool to have. Um, and then our biggest thing too, and definitely pay attention to this if you're into organiz organizing your tools and things like that. We have two US General toolboxes from Harbor Freight. Um, they are, we did set them up a little differently than how they're supposed to be built. So we have room below, as you can see, to put things underneath. Um, but pretty much what we do is we label everything. Believe it or not, there's only one section over there that has tools. For example, up here, that's like, you know, the, the little random tools also, but, you know, steel parts in here, snow blower parts, again, extra stuff in case anything goes, mower parts, just everything from fuel filters to plugs, you know, them, them pesky little bolts on those Honda push mowers, um, echo parts up here, which is usually filled with, with that good stuff. Um, and then up top, you know, a couple hitches and, you know, charger and things like that. So guys can come in here and grab it when they need it. And then over here is pretty much the same thing. You know, there's more so tools over here, but everything, as you can see, is labeled. We label everything. So when our guys come in through the side door, you know, in the summer, if they need something, they know exactly where to go with everything that's needed. You know, you put everything back where it belongs, things like that. Um, this workbench we built... Actually, have some spring flyers here going out soon. Um, you know, keep have a couple shelves up here, again with batteries. You know, I did all this; it's nothing fancy, but you know, so we know what's charged, not charged. So you know, when it's again 10 degrees out or 90 degrees, and you grab a battery and go back out there, you know, every everything's labeled. We label everything. A um, couple stools here. All of our power tools are below down there. Rags, a little bit of leftover seed from last year. Um, and then this is what we do with our shirts. We have a bin here, so everything's kind of, not really organized right now, but everything's organized with sizings, size, things like that. Little 
dog bed for my dog. And then, you know, we bulk up on oil. You know, we're always doing oil changes. Actually, believe it or not, every season. We don't go by the hour. We go by the season. Um, pans, gloves, everything's down there. Um, we have the shelves up here I built for, you know, the stay bill, you know, the gum out stuff, the PB blaster. Everything that's always used is in here. Everything when I tell someone, you know, what we need is in here and they can find it, you know. We're way more organized in the summer. Again, we're just cleaning everything. Um, and again, right here, this is actually a t-shirt press. Uh, we're going to start getting involved in that a little bit here. Um, a welder right here. Cheap little welder off um, Amazon we got. It's nice for, you know, little things. And then just some drawers here with some random stuff. Um, extra paint. Again, Again, these snow blowers aren't here, so everything's really more easy to get to. Um, and then over here is where we hang all of our trimmers. As you can see, we label everything. Everything in these videos and these tools have a number for this reason right here. We have this whiteboard up here, so if anything breaks, the guys come in and they come over here and they write down what's wrong, what number it is so we get to it. Oil changes on the mowers we did in the fall is all up here. So when it's done, things like that. You know, the snowblower stuff. And this, uh, one of my guys went through and did spark plugs, air filters on almost every piece of equipment so far for the spring. So all this is up here and then we'll get rid of this part soon. And then all over here, you know, in the summer, if something breaks, they'll write down, you know, I had to come in and get, for example, you know, the new trimmer, the new hedge trimmer went down. So I got number 11, swapped it out and just wrote it down. And then when we get to it, we'll figure out what's wrong with it. But we hang all the trimmers up. This is the easiest way to do it, you know, that we've, we've come across at least. So that's how we do it there. Um, all the high vise gear, this is all for mainly snow removal. Um, if some guys need to wear it in the summer, if they feel comfortable, they can grab it. You know, it's up to them. But usually this is for snow removal at night when we're doing stuff near main roads and, you know, no visibility. I, I make them wear some type of high vise. Um, and that's most of the shop here, guys. You know, like I said, we got extra blades down here for the edgers. Um, you know, it's 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 not, you know, I don't, I don't need a lot of room. You know, again, like I said, this is our home gym. Over here is just a lot of the, you know, stuff that's needed. So, and, and again, over here, we hang up the keys to everything. So the guys just come in. They know which truck they need, which Ram truck they need. Snowblower keys, extra mower keys here. Everything's labeled. We're big with labeling everything. So, you know, everything's where it needs to be. Everyone knows to put everything back at all times. Um, and then it's nice because the way we set this up here, and again, please bear with me, it's all clustered because it is winter time and, you know, we're slowly starting to get ready for spring. Um, I made enough room here for these mowers to come in and out. So in the summer, this stuff's all pushed back, you know, when we're done working out at night. And um, this, this is all clear of everything. And if they got to get a mower jumping right up here, bring it down and then park it over here and we'll work on it, you know. Um, that was the plan of attack pretty much with this. So, uh, we do actually have another part outside where I'm going to show you guys. Um, this little shed came with the house. So I kind of just made do, you know, where we, you know, we bought the home about five years ago. Um, so inside is where we sharpen the blades right in here. I usually do this every night. I don't send anyone back here. Um, sharpen the blades, things like that. You know, you can see all that over there. Um, that's all this is. This, now this is obviously family storage. It needs to be cleaned up, but you know, that's that. Um, hand truck in here, but this is all for blades. You know, and then usually at some point we take all the snow stuff and move all this around and figure all that out and put it back in here. Um, and then over here we built a little lean-to. As you can see, um, nothing really out here. This is like a push mower graveyard, pretty much. These Honda mowers, we use them for parts. Um, we got a nice jack up there that we use for the for the mowers that come in here. Some tree stakes, you know, cut up ties. I think there's some paver sand down there. And these wheel barrels, um, these are actually, the first year we used them, these are the uh, tractor supply 
ground works and they're the poly ones they've been great so far we only use them for mulch so um those are there and again it's like a wheelbarrow graveyard too you know for parts and things like that um and then over here we have the metal ones for stone things like that um and again we'll go through everything guys but that's it's pretty much the gist of it um Again, this door opens, too, in the summer when the stuff's out of the way. Uh, but everything's organized. You know, everyone knows where everything's at. Up here we have the uh, extra string trimmer stuff, speed feeds, the steel ones. Oh, excuse me, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so that's really it. Um, you know, I know a lot of these guys have the big fancy shafts. My plan was to bring a truck in here you know in the winter and work on it if need be but all of our stuff's under warranty so if need be work on it you know just do it outside but um you know we want to turn this into a gym instead but you know that's that's really that you know if you guys have any questions please let me know but i know a lot of these guys have the big giant fancy ones we're actually um selling our home soon and we're going to move somewhere where we can build a pretty big pole barn but i'll be honest with you with the amount of customers we have, you know, the amount of work we do, this is perfect. You know, don't let anyone tell you you need a, you know, 50 by 100,000 friggin' sized workshop because you don't. You know, this is this is great up here if we have to plop anything up. We built this very sturdy, um, you know, just from scrap wood, really. Um, you just need storage. You know, our biggest thing was to keep everything dry. That was the plan. You know, I don't like leaving things out in the rain things like that so you know that's that's about it guys so like i said if you have any questions let me know below just wanted to do this video because a lot of people you know were asking on instagram and commenting on the other videos like you know let's see what your shop looks like this and that um and then one one thing i did do before we got this was i did do the two car driveway which i'll show you in a minute um it's just nice because if we ever had to move equipment in here and back anything in, um, we could back a trailer in here, you know. So, all right, guys, that's about it. That's our shop. Thanks for watching.